coming up on Granite Bay Today. Information on senior trips. A look at the Emerald Brigade Marching Band and Color Guard. And an ad for tonight's lip sync competition. I'm Alex Rocca. And I'm Riley Carroll. All that and more, now on Granite Bay Today. Welcome to the Ivy Film Bulletin, Riley. Thanks, Alex. It's great to be here. Good morning, Grizzlies. I know we're all excited because Thanksgiving break is just a day away, but we have a lot of great stories for you today, so listen up. First, we take a look at senior Europe trips. While many current seniors have already signed up for this year's journey, next year's senior trip signups are already open to current juniors. Aaron Sampson has more. Hey, Granite Bay. Have you ever wondered what senior trips are like? We caught up with one of the directors, Mr. Weikamp, to hear more about senior trips. Well, my position is, well, I am one of the directors leading the trip. Um, it's myself you know, over for the Givenses this year because they're, they have an anniversary this year, the summer, so they are um, opting uh, to not go and take kids this year, but they're going to be coming back next year. So the 2015 trip is going to have uh, the Givenses and hopefully myself and Mr. Holmes. Um, we're kind of catering towards more of the arts, the theater, the media and film uh, genre of Europe because there's a lot over there um, and kids that we teach uh, like those subjects, like us, uh, so we're taking kids there, teaching them about those type of things because it's not every day you get to go over there and really experience that. So uh, like the Globe in London, um, certain places in London and Paris that uh, were in major movie films, uh, including Spain. So we're showing them, we're, you get to see it firsthand, we get to teach a little bit more, so kind of catering to that side of the, of the students. In other senior news, several Granite Bay students signed athletic scholarships with colleges and universities last week. James Mertz has the story. Whether we golf, swim, or any other sport on campus, star athletes sat down in the College and Career Center to sign the letters of intent last week. Let's see what they have to say about it. A letter of intent is essentially it's an agreement between a student and a college that states that the college is offering the student a scholarship, some sort of um, some type of incentive to go to the school and that the student is signing that they acknowledge it and they're pledging to go to that school. The athletes are getting varying degrees of compensation. Some scholarships are 100%, some are as little as 10, 20, 30%. Certainly one of the neatest this year is arguably the, the two that are going to Southern California. Um, Grace Rago in, uh, in water polo to UCLA and Mitch Hart uh, as a baseball player to USC. Um, both of those are significant um, investments by the university into the students and you could argue that the student has invested a lot of their time to get down there as well. From the IB film team, we wish you the best of luck. This is James Mertz with Don Hao Nguyen behind the camera signing off. A devastating typhoon recently struck the Philippines, killing thousands and affecting hundreds of thousands. Some GBHS students are looking to make a difference in the recovery. Let's take a look. As you may have heard, Typhoon Haiyan hit Philippines recently this month. Many clubs here in Granite Bay are establishing ways to help those families affected by the typhoon. The Filipino club is distributing envelopes to every second period class and we're hoping that people will put their, will, will donate their money so they can help the people who are affected by the typhoon. Um, so it's our hope that the teachers for, from every second period class will pass around the envelope every day so that students can put their money inside. Um, and we're hoping to get like something out to those who donate like we're trying to make like these little pins that people can wear to show their support. So the Water Project and the Filipino Appreciation Club is teaming up to do a joint uh, fundraiser for Typhoon High End victims and um, we feel that because it is a lack of not just water but basic life needs in general so yeah, we wanted to provide an opportunity for everyone on campus to come out and um, help those victims. We have donation tables set up um, every single lunch from today, Tuesday, to Friday. And yeah, we hope that everyone will come out and take a step to help those in need. Anything you can do to help, to help those affected by the typhoon, will give them a sense of hope that they can stand up 
on their feet again from Rubbles of Destruction. Remember, the long-awaited lip sync is tonight. There are two performances. The first show is at 6 p.m. and costs $6, and the second show starts at 8.30 p.m. and costs $10. Tickets will be sold during both lunches today, as well as at the door. Make sure to go and support your fellow students and friends in a fun night of lip syncing and dancing. Matt Iwahiro comes to us with an ad on this exciting event. Matt, that looks great. Hey Alex, you're in band, right? Right. Congratulations on winning your last competition. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so now you're headed to the state championship? Right, we are. Awesome. Let's take a look and find out what it's all about. A lot of people don't realize that in band, besides our football commitments, we also have band competitions every Saturday where we play our field show. Our show this year, is, the title of it is That's All Folks, and it basically just pulls music from Looney Tunes and Bugs Bunny cartoons, um, and I think we have a pretty good shot at winning championships at WBA this weekend. Last week we won our competition at Logan High School. We got first in our division, which is 4A, and this week we're moving on to championships, which is in Clovis, California and we're gonna go down and there's a lot of big competition down there with the bigger bands. So we're gonna go down and hopefully do our best and try and reach for the 4A class champions. The school musical this year is Shrek. Sierra Putman comes to us with information on auditions. Coming this spring, Theater at Granite Bay presents the story of a hero with his sidekick and a damsel in distress. A hero so brave, so courageous, so... Uh, Shrek! Better out than in, I always say. <laughs> when we return from break, we'll kick off Battle of the Sexes week. It's a new week that will pit guys versus girls in competitions. Girls are gonna dominate. Let's go to Don Howe for more info. So Grana Bay, have you ever wondered who would win in a rivalry between men and women? Well, before we can answer that question, we'd have to talk to student government to find out what Battle of the Sexes Week is all about. Battle of the Sexes Week is going to be December 2nd through the 6th. It's going to be a week-long event which consists of lunchtime activities. Friday we will be having a spirit day where the guys wear blue and the girls wear pink. We will be having one lunch that day and a tug-of-war competition. And the winning gender will win a prize that will be determined. And we hope all of you guys will be a part of the battle. So this year we try to make an innovation of a new event that hasn't really been done yet at Granite Bay. So we're just really excited to have this new event happen and we hope that everyone gets involved. Well then Granite Bay, be sure to participate in Battle of the Sexes Week to prove that your gender is superior. That's all for this week's IB Film Bulletin. Remember, you can always find more exclusive content on granitebaytoday.org. This week we have posted several stories online, including an update on the recent bomb threat, the rumor that seniors always win, the Laramie Project, and more. Again, you can find all this and more on granitebaytoday.org. Remember that Thanksgiving break is Monday, November 25th through Friday, November 29th. The front office reopens and classes resume on Monday, December 2nd on a regular day schedule. Happy Thanksgiving and enjoy the break. 
When we return from break, we will have stories on the Winter Concert, the first GBHS Film Festival, a student rapper, the Spring Dance Show, and more. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Granite Bay Today. I'm Riley Carroll. And I'm Alex Rocca. Have a great day. Which should I sign first? The Affordable Spirit Act or the DO Treaty? Okay, that's right. That's what I thought. Yes. Oh no. Mr. President. The seagulls are attacking if I don't ask somebody to win a ball? Quick! Who is first on my list to ask? Perfect! We'll leave at once! To the back, okay. Why are you guys in such a hurry? Mr. President needs to ask somebody to win a ball. Stat. We're gonna need some flowers. Good thing I've been growing them. <laughs> You're a good man. Austin, what are you doing? You caught me at a bad moment. Well, I'm asking somebody to win a ball right now. Well, you're not gonna be able to do that without a tape. Brilliant! Tap check! He's clean. Let's, let's go, let's go. go. Let's roll. Here, cut it. Alright, okay. check me. That's good. Awesome. Let's breach. Go, 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 go. 